Ladies and gentlemen, today there is, and perhaps there will always be, conflict in the world. Here at home, we enjoy peace and security, like great things of value, the security did not come cheaply. Part of the cost has already been paid by Americans who answer the call to military duty when their country needed it. Today at Verizon, we are here to dedicate a flag as a symbol of our company's respect for their service, to honor our employees who have served and families who have sacrificed. With that, I would like to turn the podium over to one of Verizon's own, Linda Pagan, State, Army, National Guard Group Leader. Linda. Welcome, everyone, to this most significant and heartwarming ceremony. The flag is the reason that we have our brave, courageous soldiers sacrificing their lives to protect the freedoms we all enjoy every day. You see, freedom stands because heroes serve. So thank a vet when you see them. I can tell you that New Jersey Army National Guard just had the largest deployment since 1941. We sent 2,798 soldiers to Iraq, and we just returned 2,798 soldiers back home three weeks ago. As this deployment went through its stages, I can tell you that Verizon has been there and a very huge supporter every single step of the way. Dennis Bone flew into Fort Bliss, Fort Bliss Texas, while our soldiers were in their final pre-deployment trainings and met with our soldiers personally, one-on-one, -on -one, and the Verizon soldiers. Verizon has won countless awards and is highly recognized throughout the military for its contribution to our armed forces and all branches. So you see, Verizon too shares in our personal stories on what the significance of this, our flag, stands for. Wow, I'm so proud of Linda, proud of what she does. I'm also proud of what Verizon does to support the uh, Guard and the Reserve. And um, we, we uh, Linda didn't say it, but we also made a $25,000 contribution to the Family Readiness Council to support the family. <laughs> my thanks to the Color Guard who are here. Uh, my thanks to, where's Major Delgado? Major Delgado, U.S. Uh, retired And uh, Linda mentioned Vince Lombardi, and Vince, uh, my thanks to you, because Vince came to see me uh, and Linda, and really I think it was your determined efforts that got us to this day. You know, I have never had the honor of participating in a flag raising ceremony before, and what an honor it is, and it certainly helped me to start to think about the flag, what it means to us, and what it, and it means something individually to all of us. We all have our individual uh, experiences with the flag. And some of the things that I thought about, I thought about our forefathers when they were creating our country, you know, out of conflict. Our country was born out of revolution, and they needed a symbol, a symbol to, to reflect upon the freedom and the liberty of this country and this flag was chosen with the stars and the stripes. I thought about the Star Spangled Banner when it was written at Fort McHenry in Baltimore in, in 1814 when Francis Scott Key, you know, when the sun rose that morning after bombing all night and the flag was still there. And that's symbolic of how our flag has stood in all the wars of all the times and has been so proud. And I thought about tens of thousands of soldiers who have lost their lives defending our freedom and defending freedom everywhere and seeing those flag great coffins, you know, and such poignant memories. And I'm sure each and every one of us has somebody that, you know, that we lost in war, a friend or a family member. I also think about the, the, the brighter moments of the flag. I mean, how many times have we watched the Olympics and see some gifted athlete with the tears streaming down their face as the flag is raised and the Star Spangled Banner is played and it's such great pride in this country and in what they do. Or the symbolic on Iwo Jima, the six soldiers raised 
the flag of that rocky island. You know, three of those soldiers went on to die on Iwo Jima, but that picture was so strong and sent such a strong message, again, about our flag and what it means to not only us, but the people worldwide. And then to countless parades, like Memorial Day parades and July 4th Day parades that we're going to participate here in a couple of days, and all the people waving the flag. So it does mean a lot to everybody. I picked out one quote that I think sums it up quite like nicely, and it was by Woodrow Wilson when he declared June 14th as Flag Day. He said, the things that this flag stands for were created by the experiences of great people. Everything that it stands for was written for their lives. The flag is the embodiment, not of sentiment, but of history. And I think that says it well. So my congratulations to everybody, and thanks to all of you for being here today. And I'm really honored and pleased to be able to present the flag and have this flag raising ceremony. Thank you. Post the colors! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This concludes our ceremony. We have refreshments.